In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the area of a composite figure that has triangles. So let's start with this example. What we need to do is we need to break up this figure into parts where it's going to be easy to calculate the area. I recommend drawing a line right here. So we have two figures, a triangle and a rectangle. Now, just to recap, the area of a rectangle is length times width. So this is L, this is W. And for a triangle, where this is the base, this is the height, assuming we have a right triangle, the area of a right triangle is 1 half base times height. So using those formulas, we could find the area of this composite figure. So for this rectangle, we could see that the area is going to be length times width 10 times 7, so that's going to be 70 with the units square centimeters. Now let's focus on the triangle. What is the length of the base of the triangle? Notice that it's the difference of these two numbers. If we subtract 10 by 6, we're going to get the amount left over, which is going to be 4. So this is 4 units long. Now what about the height of this triangle? Notice this side is 15 units long, or 15 centimeters, and this side is 7. Subtracting those two will give us this portion. So it's 15 minus 7, which will give us 8. So we have a triangle with a base of 4 centimeters and a height of 8 centimeters. So using the formula, 1 half base times height, it's 1 half 4 centimeters times 8 centimeters. 4 times 8 is 32. Half of 32 is 16. So this part is 16 square centimeters. So now we can calculate the total area by adding those two values. 70 plus 16 is 86. So that is the area of that particular composite figure. Now let's work on this problem. Let's find the area of this composite figure. What I recommend doing is drawing a line right here to separate this into a rectangle and a triangle. Now, to find the area of the rectangle, it's just going to be the length of 5 inches times the width of 4 inches. 5 times 4 is 20, so we're going to get 20 square inches. Now, let's focus on the triangle. We need to determine the height of the triangle and the base. For the height, we could see it's the same as this side, which is 4 inches. So I'm going to put a 4 here. Now what about the length of the base of the triangle? How long is it? Now we know that this segment is 8 inches and this segment is 5. So the difference between these two numbers will give us the length of the base. So it's 8 minus 5, which is 3. And if you want to visually see it, we know this part is 5, this part is 3, and that will give us the total length of 8, which is what we have here. So now we can calculate the area of the triangle. It's 1 half base times height. The base is 3, the height is 4. 3 times 4 is 12, and half of 12 is 6. So the area of the triangle is 6 square inches. So now we can calculate the total area of the composite figure. It's going to be 20 square inches plus 6 square inches. And that will give us a total of 26 square inches. So that's the area of this particular composite figure. Now, for those of you who want to find other related content, feel free to check out the links in the description section below. So you can find it by clicking on more. And I have other videos like how to find the area of a trapezoid, a parallelogram, a rhombus, a kite, 
an equilateral triangle and also how to find things like volume, surface area of a rectangular prism, a triangular prism, and other shapes. So feel free to take a look at this when you get a chance for those of you who are interested in that. Now let's work on this example. For this problem, I'm going to draw a line right here to make it into a rectangle and a triangle. For the rectangle, we can see that we have a length of 8 and a width of 5. So 8 times 5, that's going to give us an area of 40 square feet. Now let's focus on the triangle. We need to determine the height of the triangle and the length of the base. If we focus on the height, we can see that it's the sum of this part and this part. So it's 7 plus 5, which is 12. So I'm just going to redraw it over here. So we have a height of 12. Now let's focus on the length of the base. This part here is 14. This part is 8. If we subtract the total of 14 by 8, we'll get the difference, which that's going to be 6. And this picture is not drawn to scale, just in case you were wondering. So this is 12. This is 6. And now we can calculate the area. So the area is going to be 1 half base times height. The length of the base is 6. The height of the triangle is 12. Half of 6 is 3, and 3 times 12 is 36. So this part is 36 square feet. And again, this is not drawn to scale, as you can see. The total area is going to be 40 plus 36. So for the composite figure, the total area is 76 square feet. Now let's work on this example. So we want to find the area of basically an arrow. How can we do this? Well, it might be helpful if we draw a line there. So we have a rectangle with a, a length of 8 and a width of 6. So 8 times 6, that's going to be 48 square units. Now, what can we do to find the area of that triangle? Notice that these two are the same as those two. So if we draw a line right in the middle, we can create two equivalent triangles. Now, what we need to do is determine the height of the triangle. If we can figure what h is, we can get the answer. Now, this point here is going to be the midpoint of this segment. So that means that this side, this point is 3, and this portion here is 3. So notice what we have. Let's draw the top triangle. We want to calculate h. This is 8, and this is a right triangle, and the hypotenuse is 17. So we could use the Pythagorean theorem. Let's call this a b and c. a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. a is the same as h, which is what we're trying to find. b is 8, c is 17. 8 squared, or 8 times 8, is 64. 17 squared, which is you're multiplying two 17s together. 17 times 17 is 289. To get a squared, we need to subtract 289 by 64. So 289 minus 64 is 225. And to calculate h, we need to take the square root of both sides. The square root of 225 is 15. So h is 15. If you know your special right triangles, you can quickly determine this answer. There's a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. There's the 5, 12, 13 right triangle. There's the 8, 15, 17 right triangle. And there's also the 7, 24, 25 right triangle. 
So if you know these numbers, you can easily determine that the height will be 15. If you have a right triangle where one side is 8, the other side is 17, the missing side will be 15. So now let's go ahead and finish this problem. So let's focus on the large triangle. The height of this triangle is 15. And if we look at the length of the base, it's going to be 5 plus 5, which is 10, plus 3 and 3. So that's a total of 16. So area is 1 half base times height. The length of the base is 16. The height is 15. 1 half times 16 is 8. 8 times 15 is 8 times 10 is 80, 8 times 5 is 40, 80 plus 40 is 120. So this portion here, this is 120 square units plus 48. So that gives us a total area of 168 square units. So that's how we can get the composite area, I mean the area of that composite figure.